hopefully the majority of you are watching this video sitting in a nice air conditioned room if you're not well then you're sweating just like i am and i'm sorry so what i want to ask you guys is uh if you would please stick around in the first couple minutes of this video i have several very important announcements and you guys haven't been seeing much or hearing much from me because i have been having some serious computer and editing uh, software problems I think I've got them all squared away. So we're gonna be back in business and I have been doing some filming in my off time. So frustrating, but it's over with now. But I wanna tell you guys uh, that today's video is sponsored by Hemiway. Hemiway sent me over this bike right here. This is a fat tire e-bike. And if you guys haven't seen my original unboxing and build of this bike, I will link it down in the description below. But I promised you guys that I was gonna go over some features and some different things on this video. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I don't have a list or a, you know, like an itemized thing that has all these different talking points, but I'm just gonna go over it uh, and teach you guys what I know about this bike. Before we do that, however, I wanna give you guys the verse of the day. It comes from Proverbs chapter nine, verse 10. It says, fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. Spend some time in the word today guys and every day uh, make it a, a priority in your life even if it's only for five minutes uh, the wisdom that we possess um, or that we are able to gain from spending time in the word um, obviously it helps us uh, to make better judgment but it also helps us to look more like christ and that's the end end goal right it's to look more like christ um, from the time that you were saved to the time that we die and of course spread the gospel. Now with that being said, let's jump in and take a look at this bike. So it's very, very simple. First things first, you got your power button here. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Oops, I didn't push it and hold it long enough. This screen will light up. I've put 7.6 miles on it, roughly. Uh, the top speed that I've gotten able to, uh, to get up on this thing is about 28 miles an hour going down a hill. So this thing scoots. Battery life, I've been super impressed. I've only charged it once and I didn't even need to. The reason why I charged it, it was about half battery. But I'm going to use this thing as a hunting tool here on my lease. It's going to allow me to cover a lot of ground very quickly and do it very, very quietly. Now you have your seven speeds here. And this is just an adjustment for obviously speed it changes your gears down here below you um, just kind of like a regular mountain bike to give you more tension or less tension now here it's kind of a similar thing motor takeoff speeds um, i'm normally somewhere around a three and i usually tend to hang out around a, a five right here right here uh, you have this really neat little bell i'm not going to ring it because it's so loud and i'm not but like probably 200 yards from my hunt spot and I don't want to ruin this evening's hunt. One of the coolest and I think one of my most favorite features is right here. You have a headlight. And when it's on, you can see that my headlight is on right there. Of course, you can always see your battery life, but uh, here is the headlight. Now I know that the, the sun's kind of fading it out or whatever, but for what this thing is, I mean, it's no bigger than about the palm of my hand roughly. For no bigger than it is, the thing is bright it's more of a spot rather than a flood but that's okay it lights up roads really well and i'm excited to be driving this thing out here on my lease as well because i have yet to get this thing off road it's been on nothing but pavement so i'm excited to see uh, how it does so far i've come in about a half mile or so into the lease give or take and it has done exceptionally well after putting a little over seven and a half miles on it i've continued to be more and more impressed with the overall quality and build of this entire uh, setup and i'm very excited to have it in the arsenal so i want to say a huge thank you to hemiway for sending this bike over for sponsoring the last couple of videos and i want you guys to make sure that you go down into the description below and click on the hemiway link and check out some of their bikes for anybody that's a bike enthusiast or thought about it or maybe you want something uh, to go hunting on just kind of like i do and you want to do it quieter or you just want to get to your stands quieter or you want to save a whole bunch of money in gas you can just use an e-bike <laughs> now the next thing that i'm super excited to show you guys about something that has yet to hit the market and i'm really not honestly sure when it's when it will hit the market but i know that i'm one of the first to have uh, this particular item that i'm fixing to show you and this is one of the coolest stabilizers that i have ever ever seen so you know you may be looking at it and you're like brad that looks like a regular just it looks like a normal stabilizer which you know for the most part it does look like a normal stabilizer other than the fact that it is magnetic 
as you can tell the machine fit in between this part the receiver and the other end is very tight tolerances and your magnet is right here on the end there's no rattle there's zero rattle whenever you shoot these things and whenever Quentin Quentin Williams, the creator of this particular stabilizer, um, he did a fantastic job. Fantastic job and had a really cool idea. But whenever uh, he put out some prototypes or got some prototypes built up, he tested them head to head against some of the top names um, like Beastinger and you name it. And his stabilizer that he created was quieter and soaked up more vibration. Very very cool. And I can't wait to show you guys more and tell you guys more about what's going on with this really neat product. There are going to be some other uh, magnetic style products that are going to be coming to the market whenever he gets uh, around to making those and mocking those up. I'm super excited to try those out as well. So y'all stay tuned. Looking for some, some more attachments and different archery uh, pieces of equipment coming from Quentin and coming from my channel as well. I can't wait to be uh, using his products some more and, and sharing them with you guys. And I hope that y'all pick some up as well. It's 7 o'clock. I've had a pretty nice uh, boar that's been showing up to uh, one of my spots that I haven't hunted in several months. And he's a dandy for sure. He's been showing up right at dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get loaded up here and we're going to make our way to the stand. Hopefully he shows up around 8.45, 9 o'clock and not 9.30 like he did last night. But hey, it's part hunting. We're going to sit and wait it out either way and sweat. Just enjoy the heat. Said no one ever. Let's roll. <laughs>
All right, folks, I just got down on the ground, and I gotta tell you, I am still completely amazed at the sheer and utter size of that hog. That was a big hog. Um, my guess, because we're gonna, definitely gonna have to weigh him, my guess is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 242 pounds is what I'm gonna say on his weight. Um, I, but I wouldn't be surprised if he goes over 250, that's for sure. So, just got down on the ground, I got everything packed up, but what I'm going to start doing is start looking for some blood. That hog ran off with that arrow stuck in him in pretty good ways. I could see him going through the brush, so I'm hoping that as I work my way up in there, hopefully tracking some blood, that I'll be able to see that light. And as long as that arrow is still in that hog, surely there'll be a hog right where the light is. But let's see what we can find up here starting out. I'm about 80, 90 yards in, and I finally picked up my first trail but it looks really good i think what had happened was the arrow was stuck in him and that's why i wouldn't find the name but man am i ever on it now check this out guys wow it's craziness hope he's not too far super awesome That's why I like shooting a heavy arrow with a two inch mechanical. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> There's my my knock too. <laughs> but he ran a good 150 yards or so. Definitely approaching this one from the back side. Ooh, I don't want a spider in my face. <laughs> Phew, I can smell him now. Look at this. Hey, pig. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Guys, <laughs> look at the size of this hog. And look at those teeth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a giant. It's right about where I was aiming, about middle of the ribs. As he was, he was quartering away super hard and he was kind of crunched up. And I knew I had to hit that rib right in here to make it all the way up to the front. And sure enough, I did. He got his lungs good. I got really good penetration with that arrow too. I love, 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 love a good quarter and hard quarter and shot on these bigger boards. That's how you gotta do it, guys. I'm pretty much 100% certain that the Hemiway will not drag this hog. We could certainly try it. Only problem is I don't have any rope or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna have to go get the bike, go get the buggy. The buggy has the scale anyway, and then we'll have to come back and and uh, weigh this pig, but I did not expect any ground shrinkage on this hog at all. I mean, he is just something else. That's a trophy, trophy boy right there. Look at this other, other set of teeth right here. Incredible. I mean, that right next to my thumb, I'd say they're close to two inches long. Look how well those rims light up in the nighttime. Way to go, Hemiway. We're almost back. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys this, the headlight on this sucker. It is bright. Doing a little powering up here. Looks like we're ready to rock and roll as soon as I get my headlight turned on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Check it out. I mean, guys, it's pretty stinking sweet. Can you, can you see that telephone pole up there? That's a good, like, 75, 80 yards from me. Let's lighten that telephone pole up. <laughs> anyway, let's get cruising back. We gotta get the buggy and start dropping your hog weight guesses down in the comment section below. Let's go. I got all the rigging done. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work, if it's going to work at all. It's kind of a smaller mesquite branch, but I think it'll do. Don't forget the guesses, folks.
<laughs> Are you serious? That hog weighed that much. It literally, it just broke this entire mesquite tree. Are you serious? That thing's like at least 10 inches in diameter down there at the, at the base. Well, dang. Now I gotta figure out how to get him out of this mess. I can't believe that. It's getting late. <laughs> Guess that's one way to get rid of mesquite trees. Had to get it in four wheel drive to get Mr. Hog up here. And I'm definitely not gonna stand too close to it underneath that branch because it very well could break. <laughs> we got our hog strung up. I have the weight in my head. I'm also going to take a picture of it that way I, I don't forget it. Um, but with the giveaway, you guys leave a comment down below. Make sure that you're subscribed and also you have to like this video. Those three things uh, get you entered in. So get your weight guess. Make sure that you're subscribed and that you leave a thumbs up on this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I've enjoyed this hog hunt so, so much. I can't wait to be doing a whole bunch more of it. Here's another look at our hog. Got some real good teeth, some real good toofies. I'm gonna get packed up, get this buggy out of four wheel drive because believe it or not, to get that hog up in the tree, this had to go into four wheel drive all in a good night's fun thank you guys so much for watching y'all are amazing and i'll see you in just a few days